Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, we're talking about infographics and an update that Canva have just released to their infographics. Now, I know you guys love infographics. I've got a really popular video on the channel about infographics. So if you've not watched that video, I highly recommend you go and watch that. I'll put a link up here to that video as well, and also down in the description, because that goes into a little bit more detail on some of the other infographic features that I'm not gonna cover in today's video. But let's dive into Canva and have a look at the new Canva infographic bits that they've got going on. Okay, here we are, we're in Canva, and we've just chosen to create a blank infographic template and I'm going to start off at the top you can obviously choose from any of the infographic templates that Canva have to offer and all you just do is you search infographic template in the search bar at the beginning and that'll give you this it is 800 by 2000 so it gives you that tall kind of infographic look which is what you can see on these templates here. But what we're looking at today is the new infographic elements that Canva have released. Now, if you've not seen these, you're gonna be amazed by these. And if you create a lot of infographics using Canva, you're gonna really love these new features. If you come down to charts, or you can just type in charts in the elements search bar, you've got these new elements here. Let's just look at the first one. So this is what we call a progress ring. And, you know, you can change the bars here to go between um zero percent and you know and a hundred percent i'm gonna stick that in about the middle somewhere around about there you can change the line weight so you can make these look really slim really fat i prefer the kind of like the fatter donuty type looking ones you can also add in so say you've got the 59 percent here you can add in the label on that by just by adding the tab here the rounded endpoints or you can have them flat i flick between whether i prefer the rounded end or the straight end depends on the kind of look and the feel that you're going for in your infographic the next thing you can do is you can change if you've got the text here in the infographic where it's showing the percentage you can just change this um, font to whichever one is your brand font and you can just change you can change the size of that as well and you can also then just change the color of the font so you can change all that if you want to come in and you think well actually i need to edit the image here or the infographic element you can come in you can click on edit and say you don't want the progress ring you wanted to change one of the other things well instead of going to elements and choosing one of the other options here what you can do is you click on edit and in the bar here you'll see where it says progress ring you just click on that and you can change that to a progress bar. You can change that to a progress dial. And obviously what you see here is the, obviously the font's too, too large. So you just might have to change that down to a smaller amount. And again, the line weight, you just change that to however you want, whether you want the label on or off and rounded ends or flat ends. If you've got your font or your brand colors, you can just click on those, change those over, whichever way around you want to do it. It looks probably better the other way around. So just change that and you change the font to be that. So it gives you the idea that the color is filling in the darker area. So that's those three kind of elements there. And as I say, you can just click on those, click on, the, click on that. And then you've got a progress dial. Now you can't add the percentage elements onto this one. You've just got the, you know, you can change the where the where the arrow points to, which is really nice. And you've got the line weight as well. So it's kind of like a you know more of a more of a dial, that side of things. If you want to add in there any text or the percentage amount, T on the keyboard, and that'll give you your text. And you can just either add it in underneath you could add it in there and change it and obviously under the effects if you wanted to you could curve the text to fit around the paragraph there and then you can just change the size of that if you wanted to and just change the curve to match the radial of that play about with that a little bit more so it matches nicer and if you, you know you can just come in and you can change the the font color and there you go that's where you can then just add that in there and that's a really nice infographic element when you come in and you click on edit you'll see you've got four options there but if you come to the element section section that's these four so you've got that one there that one the 
um, the donut shaped one, the progress bar, this other one, and then the dial, which we've got shown on the screen there at the moment. However, you'll notice this one here, which has got the different people. So I'm just going to delete that over on the screen there, and I'm going to click on the, the people one here. Just want to interrupt the video there quickly to say thank you very much for watching so far. Don't forget to click like and subscribe down below. I'm a Canva certified creative and on this channel we help you with all your Canva content creation. So don't forget to click like and subscribe and let's get back onto the video. Now this is huge. So if you're creating an infographic, the idea of an infographic is to visually represent some of the data that you're presenting to somebody in an image and you might want to say about like the number of flights on something or how to travel the number of people by car um, houses flats there's there's a whole all these different elements that you can have here and all you do is you can change so this at the moment has got 10 items on it i can increase the number of items that i want on there and it's at the moment it's set to um, so let's say we want it out of 10 so it's ideal to have that on one page if we wanted to you could just drag the bar at the side here and that means that you can change how it visually is shown on the screen and you can fill the items so previously what you'd have to do is you'd have to drag and drop 10 people across and then select them all individually color them all this is going to save you so much time if you're creating infographics in canva and again you can change the spacing so you don't want it to be too spaced out but you do you know you, you don't want them to be sometimes too crammed up and a good example of that one is the um, mobile phone you'll see here where i've got no spacing it just looks like one big block so all you do is you come in and you can add in some spacing there gives you that creates that separation of between the images so you can quickly see it's like oh yeah there's five on the top there and if as i say if you want to increase the number of items you've got you can do you can make them smaller and you can go all the way up to a hundred and again you can click on the edit and it comes up and it says this is a pictogram so you can change that to trees to stars which is this is really good so if you have like if you're creating like reviews you might want to just have like well it's out of five so i'll just quickly type on five out of there and quickly increase that so then what we want to do is we want to only fill three of those items so it's might be a, a star review or something like that let me know down in the comments what you think of these new infographic elements in canva is there any particular images that you'd like to see added to this pictogram area here um, what are you using in infographics is there something that you're not quite understanding about infra infographics let me know down in the comments if there's anything with regards to infographics that I can help you with. I'd be really happy and really pleased to help you with that side of things. But until next time, thank you very much and bye for now.